Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, well, hello, good evening to everybody. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, teacher. Hi. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, well, we're going to, uh, as I said yesterday, okay, we're going to be discussing um, the topic, uh, well, it's not a topic, it's the uh, final exam that we're going to uh, be working uh, tonight in order to um, complete this course. Um, uh, tell me, can you listen uh, a song uh, when I'm talking? Um, like you're printing something? Yeah, yeah, can you listen to that? Yes. Okay, uh, let me move. I, I will move from here because I'm printing some documents. I thought that you uh, wouldn't listen, but uh, give me a Don't second. Don't worry, teacher. Okay. It's not um, a nine. I'm going to move. Okay, um, hello, good evening. Hi. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, very good. So I was telling you that um, today we're going to be discussing the uh, final exam that we have on a platform. I'm going to uh, share to you my screen and there you're going to have, a, you're going to see, I mean, the dashboard and also the course that correspond uh, to pre-intermediate, I mean, pre-advanced. Okay, uh, give mm -hmm. me, a, I'm going to, to project my screen. Here we have, can you see that? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Very good. So we're going to go to the section number five. And there in the final exam, we have like, it says four questions, but we know that 
we have a, more exercises there that we have to solve. Um, let me see. Um, first of all, uh, we have the exercise um, that is listening in, in, in section five. In the final exam, we have the part A, and this is about listening. Uh, well, uh, in this exercise, um, the instruction says, uh, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. That's what we are going to be doing um, in this uh, in this part uh, part eight. Uh, then we're going to be um, solving these uh, multiple questions. There we have three options that we have to solve. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is to play, uh, uh, I'm going to play the audio and uh, you are going to decide which is the correct answer for each of the sentences that we have here. Okay. okay. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, very good. I know I know that many of you maybe have already solved that, but this is a process that we have to complete. Okay. Uh, if you have if you complete this this um, uh, final exam, don't worry. It's going to be help, uh, helpful for you. Um, in order to practice again, okay, those uh, because in, in final exam we're going to be uh, we're going to be discussing all the topics that we have uh, during the course in section number one, section number two, section number three, section number four, and section number five. All, all those topics are here in this final exam, and our divine difference. Uh, well, it's divided. Uh, um, in listening, in writing, uh, and also uh, we have here some in uh, grammar. Uh, we have a grammar section uh, that we that must be solved in order to uh, check the understanding of all the topics that we were discussing during this course. Okay, uh, let me know if you can listen, please. I'm going to play the audio right now. Can you listen that? Mm, not yet. Not yet. Um, no. me... Listen to the conversation. Okay, not yet. Um, give me a second. I'm going to. Ah, oh, I I have I have this check. Okay, please let me know uh, now if you can listen. Okay. Listen to the conversations. Can you listen now? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Clear and so, loud. Okay, very good. Uh, so please pay attention to the audio and then we're going to be uh, 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 answering all the questions that we have there in the final exam. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Ugh, Frank, I really need to get in shape but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before, and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well, then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy, what about getting a personal trainer? Hmm, I never thought of that before. A trainer can help you in two ways. You know, help you get in better shape and keep you motivated. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for trainers on the web. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation. You know, from someone who's had one. Oh, I just remembered. 
My cousin Rachel had a trainer, and she really thought he was great. I remember. Then she ran in the Boston Marathon. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Pam, did you see those photos that were sent from the two rovers on Mars? Yes. Isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too. But a lot of it happened before I was born, back in 1985. How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s, when I was a kid. And ever since, I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration. Yeah, but I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh, no, Jerry. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel, and who knows? Four. Well, Pam... Do you think by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not. But perhaps by then people will have bought land on the moon and started building homes on it. No, really? Yes. And those little rovers will be continuing to perform their research on Mars and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even bigger robots to do almost anything, like building cities in space. I guess you're right. Just think of our International Space Station. Yes, I think that robots and astronauts will be performing amazing things in the future. Okay, very good. So there we have the audio uh, that corresponds to the exercise number one, uh, I mean the part eight. So um, there you have the questions um, where you have to be, that you have to complete. This is a multiple choice questions. There we have four uh, uh, sentences that must be uh, completed with the options that we have uh, for each one. Uh, you are going to uh, do a collaborative uh, uh, activity. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you're going to be working in pairs and um, you have to decide, okay, maybe you, if you want, you can share your screen with your classmate and check the, this exercise. But um, the idea is not because you already saw, the idea here is um, to comment why you decide to, uh, to choose that option in each of the exercise that you have uh, for the final exam in, in part A, okay? So um, I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now and you're going to be working on it. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to do it right now. So uh, um, please. How, tell me. Sorry, how are we going to choose like making an, an exercise in the, in the room? Um, oh, or just can, deciding just no uh, because you already decide i think that most of you well at least the four of you uh, have complete the final exam right it's anybody here or haven't, yes. haven't completed no okay well you already complete this exercise what you're going to do is uh, to um discuss okay that's that's the activity for this discuss why you decide um, to choose that option and, and why not other. Uh, and if you want to add something like a uh, comment something about the sentence, the information that we have there, it's cool, okay? You can do it. Um, and you're going to be working in pace. That's the reason why you are going to be like a, a working there in the breakout rooms, okay? okay. Is it clear the instruction? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, I, I mean, uh, the thing here is that you are not the, you are not going to be deciding what is the correct answer. What you are going to mm -hmm. be doing is just discussing why you decide that uh, that that answer because you you already have it. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to create a break breakout room right now, and you are going to have the room. A, room one and room two, and there you are going to be uh, working on it. I'm, I'm going to be um, moving from room one and room two 
uh, in order to check uh, that you are discussing. The idea here is to practice English too. So uh, speak just in English. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, very good. So, uh, oh, something that I have to comment here is that also we're going to be working in the exercise uh, in the, well, in sections, uh, in, in the section number five, in the final exam, we're going to be working in the part A, part B, and part C. So, um, uh, we're, going, we're going to have time in order to solve these exercises. In this case, you're going to have a uh, six minutes in order to discuss all the questions there. And, um, and then uh, you're going to be sharing your answer here in the uh, general video conference, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So I will open the, all the rooms right now and uh, please start working on it. <laughs> it was a hard day too. Yeah. It's only okay. me meeting in the, in the work. Okay. Good evening, Lea. Lea, hi. You there? Lea. Lea is a mute. So, Lea, I think it's in a meeting. Oh, Lea is in a meeting. Okay. Well, um, uh, you got it, the, the, the instruction of the teacher, uh, Jorge? So, so, Ricardo. Uh, I understand that we have two uh, discussions about uh, the uh, each exercise. For example, um, Sandy wants to meet new people. Okay, in the exercise, Sandy say, uh, join a new, new fitness center. Okay, yeah. that is the right answer. But uh, we have to uh, discuss um, that you think or that you desire. Got it? Got it. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, I prefer um, the best exercise plan, maybe all uh, going to um, not community gym, but uh, I, I, I wish to join um, a gym. But okay. I have no, no time. <laughs> okay. And you? Uh, what about you? And my, I'm my preference. I, I don't go into the, to the community gym and uh, I don't like joining a new fitness center. I, I I like the 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 exercise plan personal and the everyday walking walking uh, between four five and six kilometers on the day. You like it? Do yeah. exercise. Yeah, I like. Are you feeling it? Fitness? Uh, I, I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay. We're going to stop this exercise. Okay, let's. And the second exercise. It's about uh, a personal trainer. Mm. 
In fact, uh, when I when I had uh, gone to to gym, I I ha I hadn't uh, a personal trainer. I do my exercise by myself. Okay. And you? In my case is is. Me too. Uh, say, and um, personal training, not no, no good. Uh, but uh, will be um, uh, maybe um, a good option. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. If uh, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, is, is, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's about the the ground. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I I don't know with the ima imagines uh, in the in the YouTube um, is uh, are true or are uh, Fake news. Uh, in, in, yes, fake, fake news or invent for another another people for the confuse the the minds in, in the in the in the major people or only for for yes yeah, sometimes funny, it's just for funny, for have funny. more views mm -hmm. yes so uh, is possible in Mars is possible. Uh, the the life in the future uh, for the minerals or components or elements similar in in, in more planets and yeah the that's true the gravity too or the some, gravity or some storms too mm, maybe it's more because this planet this planet in is possible 200 years disappear or or is possible in the future diet and uh, yeah. one thousand years is possible or eliminate the human maybe or a pandemic kill all the humanity uh, the major people thinking about the pandemia is uh, some idea for reduce uh, the population. The population around in the world, similar the intention the hit Hitler for mm -hmm. the, the the power human or the another level. Uh, high level in the in the human mm, that's true and in the space only the more force survivor in the future so the mm -hmm. pandemic the pandemia for me is rarely it's maybe because it's, because it's, it's maybe possible. to reduce like you said yes if possible for me i uh, take uh, the virus on the contamination, but in, in okay. Um, <laughs> I moved to my office again because this uh, is the, the sun stops. Okay. Um, well, um. I think that you already discussed the part eight and you discussed why you decide to, um, to, to, why you decide that answer that the ones that you choose, um, I think that you did it. And uh, let me see. I saw that Miss Leah connect some monuments ago, but I am, I'm not seeing her. Uh -huh. Well, um, um, 
we, I'm going to share to you this section number in number 18 and um, I have to show you this is just because um, it's necessary uh, but I have to show you the answer here and uh, there you have the red option for each of the of these sent of these um, well sentences we can call it that way um, each of the exercise there and you have a, the, the, the right answer that in the first one it says Sunday wants to meet new people Fran suggests going a new fitness center or center okay um, and that's the correct options there um, in the in the sentence number two it says Sunday can get a recommendation for a personal trainer from Frank's cousin Rachel Okay, that's the correct answer for the uh, question number two. In the question number three, we have you already think that space travel is finished for now. That's the option that you have. And also the last sentence that it says, fun thing, people will build homes on the moon. And what, uh, what about you? Do you think that uh, people will build homes on the moon? You, do you think that it's possible? Maybe. Maybe. Um, my partner says it is probably on Mars. Well, Mars. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's a pause. Um, I read. I read. Uh, I mean, I read a, a, a new some time ago that says that uh, in about five years um, there will be like uh, people traveling to mars in order to um a uh, create a colony um uh, on mars so let's see what happened let's see if we have that in in five years um well we're going to move to the section number v that is correct the mistake we're going oh well um, uh, um, give me a sec. I'm going to stop sharing. Give me a second because I uh, uh, have something here that I need to. Okay, thank you. Okay, there we have. Please. Um, well, uh, there we have this exercise in, <clears throat> in a part one that it says correct the mistake. The instruction says correct the mistake in each sentence or questions. You need to type in in the complete new sentence. Do not forget capitals and periods or question marks. Um, well, that's what we're going to do. According to this, what is the, cor the correct answer for the section number one? I mean, a, a exercise number one. Do you know where I, where can I get someone to get my hair? What is the correct answer of it? You remember that? Do you know where I can get? Okay, where I can I can get someone and to get someone my hair? My hair. Exactly. Uh, okay. Um, Tell me. But the platform put the, but the yeah. sentence. Yeah, it, it says that it's wrong. But uh, guys, tell me, um, in the in this exercise, do you know, uh, well, in this sentence that it says, do you know where I can get someone to get my hair? Do you remember the topic um, that this uh, exercise is referring about? No, teacher. <laughs> no. no? Okay, what about the other ones? Do you remember the topic where we discussed this kind of sentence? Hello, Mr. Alejandro, Mr. Lopez. You don't remember the topic? Mr. Ramirez? Uh, what topic? Okay, um, the the sentence was taken from a specific 
topic that we we discussed during this course. Um, do you remember the topic that this sentence uh, is referring about? Do you remember the topic that this sentence is referring to? Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Okay, let me let me uh, remind you this uh, type of questions. In, in this exercise, do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? It's about the top, yeah, well, it, it is taken from the topic uh, of how we use have and get. Do you remember that? How we use have and get? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yes, you remember, right? Uh, in the sentence number two, it says, you can have your car fixed at an auto repair shop. What is the correct answer of it? Mm -hmm. Section number, I mean, exercise number two. You can have your car fixed at an hourly repair shop. In this, uh, the very the in the past part is fixed. Okay, we have to complete it in this way. Do you remember the topic of this sentence? Do you remember the topic? No, teacher. No. Oh. No. Okay, uh, this topic is the same that we were uh, discussing. How we use have, okay, and get in order to do recommendations, okay? You remember that? How we use have and get in order to give recommendations. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, the next one, section, I mean, exercise number three, I still say section in this exercise. Okay, um, section number three, uh, I mean, exercise number three, <laughs> do you know where Elisa can have her driver license renewed? What is the correct answer here? Renew uh, is possible. Must be in past participle, yeah, that's right. Well, um, in the exercise number four, it says, you can get your leather butt shines at Joe's shop, shop. I mean, shoe shop. Uh, what is the correct answer here? Do you remember that? You can get your leather butt shined at Joe's shoe Ex shop. Excellent, very good. So that's the correct answer here. In part two, we have um, the instruction that it says, choose the correct three words phrasal verbs. Okay, what do you remember about the three words phrasal verbs? I mean, uh, about the phrasal verbs at all? What do you remember about the phrasal verbs? What are phrasal verbs? Do you remember that? Uh -huh. Um, yes, I think so. Okay, so what are phrase of hers? Um, Bro broken, broken up with, come, come up with, coming up. Okay, okay. Looking forward to, up, down. Okay. Those are good examples of phrasal words. Okay, but phrasal verbs, that's good. That, those are good examples, okay? Uh, but phrasal verbs uh, are, um, um, as the name says, verbs, uh, okay, that are composed by another adverb. Uh, in this case, the phrasal verbs oh, oh, sometimes uh, express an action, okay? Um, that someone is doing or a, a, well, anybody's doing in, in a specific moment. The phrasal words, um, we discussed that uh, phrasal words are used in informal speaking, okay? In informal speech. Um, 
phrasal verbs also uh, cannot be used in academic writing, for instance, because these phrasal verbs are used uh, mostly for um, uh, friends and, and things that doesn't have uh, that are not relate with a formal aspect of a, any any area. Okay, so if we use a phrasal verbs, for instance, in a letter, a, that must be like a, informal. Okay, if we use it. Um, so for that reason, it, it, it says that phrasal verbs are only used in um, spoken in, in spoken English. Okay. Um, well, uh, in the exercise number one, uh, that it says, "Thank you for a great solution to my problem." Uh, what is the correct options for this uh, exercise? One point one. Coming up with. Okay, coming up with. Thank you for coming up with a great solution to my problem. And what does it mean, according to the phrase over that we have here, what, what does it mean coming up with? Such as give. Okay, very good. Okay, let's like, uh, like if we say thank you for giving me a great solution to my problem, it can work. Okay, very good, excellent. Um, sec is exercise number two. It says, Sam had to get a science tu uh, tutor. Uh, he couldn't, the other student in chemistry class. What is the correct option there? Keep up with. Okay, keep up with. And what is the meaning of keep up with? What could be the meaning according to the context? Exactly. Solo, solo falta que le meta la lengua ya. Ya conectó. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. Alejandro? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mister? Mister? Hello, teacher. You were speaking, right? Yeah, so in the number three is uh, good down on. Keep up with. It says Sam had to get a science tutor. He couldn't keep up with the other students' chemistry class. What does it mean, keep up with? Keep up with. So, Maybe he can't stay with another student. Exactly. Yeah. 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 To be uh, means okay. Means like stay. Let's stay with. Okay. But in this case, is the is the negative negative uh, uh, idea of 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 uh, of this sentence. He couldn't keep up with with other students in chemistry class. That means he can stay with other students in given three class. Okay. So for that reason, he have to get a science tutor. Hello? Sorry, teacher, repeat, please. So that means why uh, he, uh, he, in this case, Sam, had to get a new, um, a, well, or oh, has to get a science tutor. Okay, because he couldn't uh, stay with other students in chemistry class. Okay, so, uh, I, I think so. Uh, the Sam have the problem for to understand some class and in, in necessary the another similar teacher and for the follow uh, the, the class because the another students uh, uh, to high performance, uh, he needs uh, a teacher for to uh, complement. Exactly, um, exactly. He, 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 he needs help. He put okay. a level, a same help. level. Yeah, he needs help. Uh, in the number three, Michelle uh, has sugar and fat. She lost over 15 pounds. What is the correct option there? 
Go down. Go down. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Michelle has good done on sugar and fat. She lost over 50 pounds. What does the meaning of good done on? Um, doesn't must to eat sugar and fast. Okay. Um, okay, that's that's an option. Very good. It's like stop. Like stop. Or... Yeah, yes, that that's that's more close. Like um that's closer. Uh, like Michelle has a stop, okay, sugar and fats. Uh she looks over 15 pounds. Like could down on is like stop uh, eating, okay, or or yeah. Um, well, green is sugar and fat. So think, things uh, that could be a, a closer meaning to put that on. Very good. Uh, tell me. Mm, yes, but the could don't for not use the the, the word reduce. Reduce is a is, a, is a thing. Yeah, reduce word. No, in this and case, what we. Is uh, what is the intention in use the 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 phrase event in the the simple word reduce is uh, same, the same. Thing. No, the, the thing here, sir. Okay, the thing here, sir. It's we are not reducing uh, words. Uh, the thing is when um, most of the time in in English, um, some people use uh, some phrasal verbs in order to mean something uh, uh, different to the, to the thing that they want to express. Like, for instance, if you want to say, um, uh, it's like when you want to hide a meaning uh, with uh, more friendly words, instead of saying the things directly or instead of saying the, the things in a harder way, okay? Uh, so phrasal verbs are used with that purpose in order to um, uh, make the conversation more friendly. Is it clear? Okay. 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 Uh, well, there you have the the um, that those sentences were going to complete this section number C. Uh, the part C. It says complete the sentence. It says complete the sentences. Part A, the instruction says, uh, complete the suggestions for possible solution. Page a smartphone is dead and she can figure it out how to get it work again. You only need to type the correct form of the verb given in brackets, infinitive or gerund. Um, that's, the, well, that's what you're going to be doing in this exercise. Uh, well, tell me, what is the correct option in the uh, sentence number one? Okay, tell me. Um, I remember uh, it was to check out. To check out, okay. To check out, very good. And the sentence number two, what is the correct answer here? To try. To try. Okay. I'm, I'm writing what you are telling me. Okay. Um, the sentence number three. Ring. Ring. I-N-G. Uh, ring in. Right. Right. <clears throat> okay. In that way, right? Yes or not? Hmm? Is it ringing? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, in the part two, it says complete the sentence with a go, during, for, from, in, over, since, or to. It says just type the word, no capital letters or periods are needed. 
So uh, in this case, we're going to write, to complete all the sentence here, and uh, writing the uh, words that express, um, well, in the, the words that express time in a past. So tell me, in the number one, uh, it says, Vincent Van Gogh died in 1990, more than 100 years ago. Ago. Okay, very good. In the number, uh, in the sentence number three, it says, Disco was a popular form of music. Mm -hmm. From. From. Okay. Spinning was a popular type of exercise. In. In. Okay. Uh, people have been using home computers since. Since. Very good. Since. Okay, amazing. Thank you, Ms. Rivas. Um, part three it says complete the predictions with will, the future continues, or the future perfect. Just type the verb in its correct tense. Do not type the entire sentence. That's the, the instruction there. It says the number one sophisticated robots, many factory workers in near future. What is the correct option there? Will replace. Will replace. Very good. And the exercise number two, tablets, I mean, tablet computers in every home. What is the option there? Will be used. Okay, will be used. Very good. And sentence number three, it says, uh, you, a keyboard because they all be touch screen activate. What is the correct option there? Won't need. Okay, won't need. This is already solved. <laughs> okay, this is already solved. It says later in this century, people won't be living in houses that are heated with oil. Uh, well, and the last one, the sentence number five, within the 50 years, scientists Number five, we have discovered. Discover. Discover, within 50 years, scientists discover a cure um, for the common cold. Okay, is it correct or incorrect? The last one, number five. What do you think? It's discover? Yes or not? Will. Okay. We'll have discovered. We'll have. We'll have discover. In that way? Discover it. Oh, using what? How this is called? What? Do you remember the term that is used to identify this type of air? Simple. Participle. Pass participle. Exactly. Por seguridad, no. Ahorita tenés que usar tapaboca. No. Ahorita ya no puede. Let's see. Si es coronavirus, ya no puede salir. Mister, I think that we are listening you. We are listening you. Can you please uh, turn off the computer and the, the, I mean, the, the microphone, <laughs> <laughs> the computer, I said computer, no, the microphone, okay. Um, well, um, those are the exercises we have to solve in, in the platform. All of them um, are completed, okay. And here we have a reading. Uh, this, is, uh, this is just for, uh, 
trying to, to identify some elements from um, the, the ads that we have in this, uh, in this work. Uh, all the information that we read is for just for reading comprehension and there you have uh, the sentences that yeah, you must identify, it, okay? So, uh, tell me, we're going to use these five minutes uh, in order to um, uh, in order to discuss um, the course that you take. So tell me, um, how do you feel? Um, what do you think about this course? Uh, do you learn from this course or not? Do you have some suggestions for me? I really like this because it helped to remember all it's the things helpful. you already know. Okay. And you just forget it because you cannot practice every day. Exactly. So exactly. having this class is really helpful to do that, to remember, to practice, to listening to others, learning to others. And okay. it's really good. Okay. Okay, thank you, Miss. Um, Mr. Lopez? Uh, Mr. Ramirez? Um, so, um, to me, this course, it's... It has been a, a good a good course. So, okay. um, but I need to to learn more vocabulary. Um, the I I have problem with um, participles sometimes because I forget the the uh, the verbs in participle. But um, I need to practice more and more and more. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, well, uh, you must check um, some information. Well, you have a lot of things in, on, on the internet uh, that you can uh, check in order to learn more vocabulary. Uh, some recommendations or suggestions for you are like, uh, maybe you can listen in music in English. Uh, if you like uh, to watch movies, um, maybe on Netflix, on, on, on the TV, um, try to look for movies that you already watch in Spanish. Uh, try to watch it again in English. In that way, you're going to be learning some vocabulary because you're going to be guessing. Uh, okay, in this part, uh, uh, the men say this. For instance, so, so, uh, um, a, a movie that is so popular is the Titanic. Okay, you can have you ever watched Titanic in 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 English, Mister? Okay, no, no, no and everybody that. here has watched Titanic in in uh, Titanic in in in, in English. Mm. Never. No, no, never. Never. <laughs> okay, that's that's because it is a, it is a famous uh, movie, and also uh, you maybe already watch uh, at least three, four, five uh, times in your life. You already know what is going to happen, and and if you are listening, uh, the 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 authors there. Uh, you're going to be like guessing. So in this part, he said something like this, and and know that I'm listening in English, I can interpret things like that happen in English. Also with uh, a lot of movies, maybe you have watched a movie or do you like a movie uh, and you can watch it in English. That, that's good, that's work, okay? Uh, so Mr. Alejandro, do you have any suggestion for me? Do you have something to uh, say about this course, okay? No teacher, for me it's okay. The problem is the student. <laughs> I have to 
<laughs> how to practice to more with the, the, the English and the verbs and the chains and the, the time uh, and, uh, and uh, to make the list and summary and memorize in the practice and to, in, in my situation in the manufacturing, I practice for me, it's an obligation to practice because uh, it's American people in the emails and letters and presentation, action plan. For me, it's necessary that they, they put so in to talking about is more difficult in the cell phone. It's terrible to take uh, the cell phone and to um, for the ascents, the different ascents in the in the in the people in the Texas is different, the California is different. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, that's right. Sometimes it's, yes. it's a mess when we have a lot of ascents. Um, it's uh, so complicated because some people speaking in uh, one way, some others speaking in a different way. It's like um, here in in well in Central America. Um, we have different accents and here one thing means something in the other a country means another one, things like that happen in English too in different states. Uh, so, but yeah, keep trying and, and never give up, okay? So you will learn a lot of things if you are in, in this path in learning English. Uh, let's see who else missing. Mr. Lopez, do you have something to add? You have any suggestions? Uh, well, tell me. Uh, I, I like the cures, teacher. Uh, it's, it's, it's very good. Uh, I try to, to talking more and learning. And uh, more exercise for English. Uh, it's a good teacher. Okay, okay. Yes, um, well, uh, keep practicing, guys. Never give up, okay? You are in the right path, and, and, and you have a good level of English. Um, I know that, and I know that you can do it, and, and you can um, uh, work on it. If you want to speak fluently, uh, keep working, keep studying, and, and you are going to get it, okay? So uh, for the end of this course, I don't know if we, if, if, well, I, I'm going to, I want to take a screenshot uh, and I will ask to everybody to turn on the camera, the cameras. And uh, well, this is just for memories. Can you please um, turn on the cameras? It's going to be missing Mr. Mr. Mrs. Leah. Yeah, that's true. And I don't know why he, he, I mean, she didn't connect. We have to put it in, in like for a shopping. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, well, Miss Rivas. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to turn right my camera. Okay, okay, thank you. Hi, Mr. Alejandro, Mr. nice to meet Lopez. you, Mr. You Ricardo. <laughs> Mr. Lopez, nice can you please you. turn on the camera? I'm going to take the screenshot right now. Okay, thank you. Um, so, say hi. <laughs> hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay, guys. Uh, well, it's been a pleasure <laughs> for me. It's been a pleasure for me. It, to be working with all of you and, and well, I have to say goodbye uh, for this course. Maybe in the future we're going to be a, a, we're going to be taking some other courses and I, maybe I'm going to be there. A, a, so um, I think I don't know if you already complete a, all the requirements that Miss Elena a, asked you to complete. Do you send um, all the information? To send all the information. Yeah. Because she is going to, um, maybe if she haven't asked you, uh, but she is going to send you an email or maybe in WhatsApp, she is going to send a message 
in order to provide all the information you need in order to go to the following level. So uh, if you receive that, please uh, send it, it as soon as possible. Uh, and then you're going to be um, striving in the, in the pre, pre advanced two or three, you're three now, right? Yeah, three. Three, okay. So uh, that's all for tonight and that's all for the course. And thank you guys it for being here. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. miss? The, the last day to send all the information is the 26th March. No, tonight. Tonight. Yeah, you have yeah. till 12. Okay. <laughs> room, room. Okay, you have to run. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Bye bye. Blessings to all of you. Bye bye, teacher. Bye. Bless bye. You. See you. Thank you. See you. Be sure to I see you in the next. The next, the next level. level. The next level. <laughs> next level. Yeah. I have to see I you there. So. I have to see you there. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.